What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Long Island Fish Guy, here. Back at it again with another video. This video is going to be an update. I just got back from work and just realized that one of my Danios is missing. Now, what's one of my Danios I used to cycle this tank with? Um, I looked all around the t outside the tank to see if he flipped out, maybe. Um, he's gone. And I have one of two things that could have happened. One, he could have just died. Which I find to be unlikely. He could have died, and the Royal Pleco could have got him. Or two, what could have happened was... The Oscar was getting bigger now. Ate him. This Oscar is getting pretty big. He is growing faster and faster. He uh, he's just an, an, a, he's becoming a tank. He he eats like as many pellets as I put in there. And if you look at the Daniel, the Daniel was a little bit smaller than that albino right there. It was an albino Daniel that he ate. So. This is going to be a quick video. That's the update. I'm just a little worried. I mean, if the Daniels, I'm okay with him eating. I'm just a little bit worried about these quarry catfish. I have three of them in here. And uh, for, I'm worried for two reasons. One, if any of these quarries get eaten by any fish in this tank, it's going to be dangerous because they've uh, their exoskeletons are very dangerous to the digestive tracts of fish. So if they get eaten, there's a good chance that the fish that eats them dies. Um, I've had quarry catfish for years and years and years and years with Oscars, and uh, there was never an issue. So I'm hoping that there's not an issue in this tank. Um, the quarry catfish are growing, but obviously Oscars grow faster. So hopefully there's no issue. Um... I really don't want to get rid of them. I do love quarry catfish a lot, but people say, you know, they come back to their tank and they have missing fish, and uh, a lot of times it, it, it could be the pleco. The pleco, a fish could die in a tank and, you know, a couple hours later just be missing, gone. There's a lot of protein in that for the plecos, and they grow pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, I was out of my house for, you know, like 12 hours today. I searched everywhere in this tank for this body, couldn't find it, but not replacing them. And uh, those giant Danios in there will be fine because they grow to be pretty big. Um, so, yeah, they should be fine. The albino one in there, the albino Danio, probably won't be fine. There's a good side by side. What was a good side by side? He could fit in there, I think. I think if the Oscar wanted to eat enough, he could he could fit in there. Today was my first day feeding them once per day. I typically feed them twice per day, so he could have been a little more hungry and eating that Daniel. I'm, sh but it is what it is. Hopefully, no quarry catfish get eaten because if that happens, the other two are coming out, and this is going to be a strictly cichlid tank with the pleco. But that's it for now. Stay tuned for more.